Hey you guys, it's Donna from FedUpWithFatigue.com and today I have a product review for you. We're going to be talking about Resonant Botanicals newest pain relieving lotion, Painless X. So um, if you guys have been following my website for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Resonant Botanicals products. I use them pretty much every day. And a few months ago, the owner, Michael Yoko, reached out and asked if I'd be willing to test his, his newest lotion. Of course, I said yes. And um, one of the things that I really like about his products is that um, you're not gonna, when you look at the ingredient list, um, you're not gonna find a lot of chemicals, words you can't understand. He tries to use as many natural and organic ingredients as he can in his products. So if you were to buy a bottle of lotion at a big box store or drug store, you look at the ingredients, there's gonna be a lot of ingredients on that list that you're not gonna be able to pronounce, you're not gonna know what they are, um, and all of that stuff is like literally soaking into your skin. So, um, that's why part of the reason why I love his products is because he has kind of s simple, straightforward ingredients that you can understand. It's all you know, plants, essential oils, that that sort of thing. So I'm going to kind of go through some of the ingredients in this product and kind of highlight a few that I think is important. So there's a lot of uh, different types of oil in this lotion, and that, which I'm assuming is what gives it the uh, moisturizing effect. So it has uh, grapeseed oil black currant oil, I've got notes off here, that's why I'm looking off, um, sea buckthorn oil, macadamia oil, uh, evening primrose oil, carrot seed oil. Uh, then there is a proprietary blend of frequency enhanced water, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. A proprietary blend of essential oils, proprietary blend of terpenes, which is part of the hemp plant, and I will try to link to a article on terpenes that kind of explains what those are because that's a little bit beyond what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, it has um, hemp CBD oil in it, magnesium chloride, arnica extract, which is known for pain relief, and neem powder, and then there are some other things that I didn't mention. But I'll have a link so that you guys can go and see the full list of ingredients. Um, so I'm going to kind of go back and highlight some of the some of the ingredients I think is worth noting. Um, the hemp CBD oil, I feel like that that's probably like the the real real workhorse in in this lotion. Um, so hemp CBD oil, um, CBD is the non psychoactive part of the uh, cannabis plant. So essentially, what that means is it's it it doesn't make you doesn't make you high. Um, THC is the psychoactive component, um, but a lot of people are using the CBD oil now for uh, pain relief. We don't have a lot of research on CBD at this point because of the federal government is still making it difficult to do research on the um, cannabis plant at this point. But um, anecdotally, a lot of people use it for pain. I have used it off and on over the years for pain and um, it's, it's worked for me at various times. Um, so I did wanna kinda go through the differences in his formula. So when, when Michael first started his company, he actually came out, his original pain relief lotion was a product called Painless. And Painless had uh, 25 milligrams of CBD oil per ounce of the lotion. Um, so, and then some time passed and he put out a new formula called Painless PM, which was sort of similar to Painless, except that he added some things that help, um, help with, with sleep, getting improved sleep. And then after that came out, he put out a product called NeuroSoothe, which is more designed for nerve pain, like neuropathy in your hands and feet, that sort of thing. So the Painless PM and the NeuroSoothe, they have uh, 37.5 milligrams per ounce of CBD oil. Now this is the new new one, Painless X, and this actually has 52.5 milligrams of hemp CBD oil per ounce. So you can tell that's like more than double the amount of hemp CBD oil that is in the original Painless formula that he put out a few years ago when he first started his company. Um, 
All right, so that's kind of the CBD end of things. And I'll try to remember to link to a couple of articles that I've written on CBD oil so that you can kind of educate yourself on what it is, feel comfortable with it and that sort of thing. Um, the magnesium chloride. So that's what I wanted to talk about because you guys know I'm a huge fan of magnesium. I started supplementing in pill form of magnesium shortly after my fibro diagnosis in 2014. I continue to use um, continue to, to use magnesium glycinate and magnesium magnesium malate in pill form um, pretty much every day. Um, it helps me, the um, pill form helps me with like that all over achy pain. It also helps to um, keep your bowel movements regular and that sort of thing. But in addition to the supplementing with magnesium, I also use topical magnesium in, in this. And um, so the topical is good because it doesn't have any, um, any effect on your bowels because um, it completely bypasses the digestive system. Um, again, I feel like actually the topical magnesium tends to help better and more with that all over achy fibro pain that we get um, because literally it goes, you know, it gets absorbed into the skin and it goes directly to where it needs to be. Um, a couple of other things that I've found that the topical magnesium is helpful for, and this is my experience, I'm not, not saying it's going to work for you because of course everybody's different, but for me the topical magnesium also helps with restless leg syndrome, it also helps me with um, the uh, neuropathy that I get in my um, feet in particular, so like that burning, st stinging kind of pain um, that neuropathy causes. And then it also helps me with um, cramps in like my feet and my legs and calves and that sort of thing. So lots of, I found lots of benefits for magnesium and I feel like that's a, like a crucial ingredient in this lotion. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is the proprietary blend of frequency enhanced water. So I actually, I don't, I'm not an expert in frequency. And I'm trying to pull up the part where he talks about it here. But um, when I think of frequency, I automatically think of Royal Rife, and he was the, the creator of the Rife machine. And if um, you may have heard people in the um, Lyme community talk about using a Rife machine to kill their Lyme bacteria and their um, uh, bacteria and viruses associated with their other infections that they're carrying. And um, Royal Rife, um, he developed the Rife machine essentially he was able to figure out that you could apply certain frequencies to different bacteria and viruses. And um, years and years ago, I saw a YouTube video where they applied frequency to the uh, Lyme spirochetes. And literally, they just exploded, like killed them, like poof. It was, it was kind of fun to watch. Um, but so I, I automatically, when anyone says frequency, I think of Rife. But Michael also gave some examples on the website where other everyday examples where we use frequencies like um, MRI machines use frequencies, um, laser eye surgery, our military of course uses frequencies for their different kinds of, um, of weapons and that type of thing. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, anyway, um, I'm going to um, read a paragraph that Michael has on the website to kind of explain a little bit more. It says, through our research, we discovered that certain symptoms like pain, for example, can be alleviated through the introduction of frequencies. We identified multiple frequencies and added them to our water. We were skeptical to say the least. At first, we tried a test batch of the frequencies added to painless. And when he mentions the water, um, uh, his his lotions typically have distilled water so essentially he's trying to um, put the frequencies into the distilled water that is used as the base of the lotion um, so he said at first we tried a test batch of frequencies added to painless which was their original formula and tested on 60 people 59 of the people that tried the frequency enhanced painless felt improved and longer lasting pain relief and a little bit further up, he says a frequency is utilized to aid in imaging or help change the shape of the cornea to improve vision. That's where he was talking about the MRI and laser eye surgery. Frequencies also come from sound and can 
trigger rather profound reactions from us. And he gives the example of Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven, so frequency is big in different types of music. Um, all right, so I think that is it on the ingredients. So let me talk a little bit about how I've been using this product. So I use um, at least one of Michael's pain relieving lotions every day. And it's, it's kind of just part of my bedtime routine. So I take my shower before I go to bed and then after I get out of the shower, I apply the, apply the lotion. And um, what I've found it most helpful for is, like I had said previously, that all over achy fibro pain that we all associate with, with fibro. It's the feeling like you're coming down with the flu. And essentially what this does is it takes the, takes the edge off of that so that I'm able to kind of fall asleep and, and you know, not toss and turn because I, I know you know that if you are in a lot of the pain, it's difficult to fall asleep. So this just kind of takes the edge off so I can relax and just go ahead and fall asleep. Um, I feel like this works, you know, just as good actually probably better than the other formulas and I'm, I'm assuming that is because of the increase in this in the hemp CBD hemp CBD oil that he's put in this um, this bottle has lasted me a really long time because I um, have actually only been using it on really bad days so I kind of reach for a resonant botanicals product based on what my pain is on that day so if my pain is like on the lower end of the pain scale, I'll tend to reach for, you know, painless. If it's a little bit more, I'll tend to reach for painless PM. If I'm having more nerve pain, you know, that burning, buzzing kind of feeling, I'll tend to reach for NeuroSoothe, which is my absolute favorite of all of his lotions. And if I'm having a really bad day, I'll reach for, for this. So, um, like I said, this has lasted me a good long time. Um, I think that's it. Let me, let me check my notes and make sure. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Michael for letting me to try the, allowing me to try the product. And I would definitely recommend that you guys check out the Resonant Botanicals Pain Relieving Lotion. Like I said, this is their most powerful product that they've put on the market so far. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a short blog post that has some of the bullet points of the things I've just talked about. I'm going to put in that uh, blog post all of the links to the previous Resonant Botanicals uh, reviews that I've done. I'm also going to put a link to their um, website so you can kind of check out their products. And um, I'm going to add a promo code that you guys can get. I believe it's a promo code for 10% off that you guys can get off. Um, if you place an order and I think that's it. Uh, hope you guys are doing as well as possible. Bye.